Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you might already know, I did a tutorial on a 2D face rig. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you check out the previous video. I'll leave a card up here. It's an alternative way to rig a 2D face. It's not better, it's not worse, it's just a different style to choose from as an independent animator. And after two years of using this, I have a couple of updates. So there will be two or three videos coming up. But a quick summary, what I did is I modeled an eye shape or mouth shapes. Uh, then I joined those uh, separate shapes together in one mesh. For that mesh, I created vertex groups. So for example, for a smile or for a sad face, I made a new vertex group. Somewhere in the rig, anywhere you like, you can make a new custom property. After that, you can add in a mask modifier. One per vertex group will do the trick. Set a driver for the modifier's visibility. This driver should be a single property. You copy the data path from the custom property, uh, paste the data path in the driver and use this scripted expression. Then all left to do is copy the driver to the rest of the mass modifiers and change the expression for every new number. All right, I wanna go to the object data tab and in here I wanna select the vertex groups and make a new vertex group right here. Call this one highlights. I select the eye, go into edit mode and select all the meshes. Then I assign a weight of 0.8 to all of these meshes. You can press assign right here. For me, the fastest way to isolate the highlight is to go into the material tab and make a selection by material. You can do that right here. So with that, I go back to the object data tab and say crank up the weight to one and hit assign. Now you can see if I go into weight painting mode, that you have two different weightings. The red is one and the slightly darker green. It's really hard to see in this case because I have a uh, preview color as well, but that is 0.8. Going back out of edit mode and I'm going into the modifiers tab. I add in a new modifier that is the solidify modifier. In this modifier, I go to vertex groups and I select the highlights vertex group we just created. You can play around with the thickness, you can play around with other settings and just tweak the modifier to your liking. And because we have different weighting, you can see that the highlight is sticking out a bit further than the blue part of the eye. Back in the modifiers tab, I create a new modifier that is the shrink wrap. You can hover over this uh, top right corner of the modifier and drag. And in this case, I want to have it on top of the modifier stack. So I drag it all the way up. And in the modifier, I go to target and with the eyedropper tool, I select the body. As you can see, it conforms to the shape of the body. What I like to do is I switch from nearest surface point to project. And also I like to enable these two settings that say negative and positive. Basically it projects it forward and backwards. I quickly move on and I select the rig. I go into pose mode, uh, select the base of the head bone and place my cursor there with shift S, cursor to selection. I'm going back to object mode, hit shift A and select armature single bone to create a new bone. I go into edit mode for this bone and with the 3D cursor still at the base, I say pivot point to 3D cursor and rotate it on the X axis 90 degrees. I bring it in so we have a sort of a nose right now. So this is going to be the face control bone. I'm going to join this armature with the original rig. You can do that by selecting them both with the rigify selected as last as the active selection and say Ctrl J that merges them. Going into the armature tab of the rigify rig, you can see that I have now a new layer that is the first layer. And if I shift click on that, I also make that visible. Now I can select the bone, go into the bone tab and rename this to face control. Now I want to select the left eye, shift click and press Ctrl P to parent this to the bone. So I select the face control bone and double tap RR to freely rotate the face. Whenever I move the head bone, you can see that the face control bone is not moving with it. So that is our next step and we can fix that right now. I'm gonna go to, with this bone selected, to the bone constraints right here, say child of, and with the eyedropper tool, select the rig. And then in this bone field, say head. To clear the parent position, say set inverse. And as you can see, I can now rotate the head bone and the face uh, rotates with it, but also remaining control over the face individually. So you can offset the face if you want to. So yeah, I'm going into the armature tab. Uh, I'm opening up skeleton. 
and I'm hiding this layer that shows all the deformation bones. The last thing I want to do is select this face control, go into the bone settings or the bone tab, uh, open up viewport display, and under custom shapes, in custom object, search for spine or something, and I choose this one, and now you have a face control as well. We can scale it right here, but I like to leave it at one. Uh, and now you have a nice controller for the face. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like the video. Uh, if you want to see more content in the future, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to keep up to date. Also, you might like these other videos. As always, stay creative. See you next time. Ciao.